At noon, we got Arkansas State, who's 2-0. and Trevor number 17, Michigan, who's 1-1. One one. Michigan fair by 23.5 points on the Big Ten Network. Jalen Rayner has gone 45-79, thrown for 572 yards, three touchdowns, two interceptions. He also leads his team on the ground with 34 carries for 122 yards and two touchdowns. Corey Rucker has had 13 catches for 239 yards and two touchdowns. Davis Warren for the Wolverines has gone 37-58. Done for 322 yards, two touchdowns, three interceptions. Kalel Mullings had 21 carries for 117 yards. And Colston Loveland has had 16 catches for 157 yards and a touchdown. Michigan got their asses handed to them against Texas. It wasn't close at all. I mean, it's what anyone with half a brain would have expected. But a lot of Michigan fans deluded themselves into thinking that this, this was still a year they can compete for a national championship. It's not. You guys are like 2019 LSU. I mean, 2020 LSU. Guys were stacked last year, and there was a reason why at the beginning of the year I picked you to win the national championship. I thought you were the best team in football, and you were the best team in football. You played like two close games the entire year. Alabama and Ohio State were the only teams that gave Michigan a game. They were dominant. Um, you lost J.J. McCarthy. You lost Blake Corb. You lost Roman Wilson. You lost a lot of that defense. How did you reasonably expect to be as good or even close? You lost Jim Harbaugh. It just, just doesn't make any sense. So, of course, Texas was going to do that to you guys. You're still decent. I'm not going to say you're bad, but just don't, don't think you're a playoff team this year. Um, Arkansas State's lucky to be 2-0. I'll say that much. They need a last-second miracle against Central Arkansas to State to move to 1-0, and they needed a lot of things to go their way to beat Tulsa last week. It was it was rough. It was a hard game. <laughs> They've played two really hard football games to be 2-0. and It, it kind of ends right here, right? Like, Michigan's mad that they got their butts kicked in front of a national audience on Fox um, at home by Quinn Ewers and that Texas offense. And to be fair, I think Texas might... They're up there as one of the best teams in the nation. I could see Texas winning a national championship this year. But... I was rough to lose that way, and I think Michigan's going to take some of that frustration out on Arkansas State. I'd love to see the Red Wolves be like the new Northern Illinois. They're the Northern Illinois this week, right? Um, and if I had to pick a Northern Illinois this week, I wouldn't. I wouldn't hate to see Arkansas State, right? They're two and zero. Jalen Rayner is an explosive young quarterback. I mean, he has some talent there. I mean, the chances aren't zero. They're just they're just close to it. It's just Michigan's. Michigan's going to take out the frustration. They don't. Good teams don't lose back-to-back weeks. Michigan's a decent football team. Michigan's not going to lose this football game. Michigan's not going to let this football game be close. Give Michigan to win and cover at home.